Sup guys, it's Tenkosh, and today we're doing Legendary Master Idol Farming Guide. So you will know how to progress in the game while you are not playing the game. Pretty cool, right? And be most effective at that. Let's go. So guys, for the sake of this video, I will be using LD Player, so you should download it through the link in the video description. That way you won't be killing your phone's battery by playing the game. You can run it in the background on the PC and allow yourself to get all the rewards that you can get from being online while, you know, not playing the game actively. So, right, uh, how do you farm? There are some things to the farming build that's uh, different from your normal push build. Honestly, um, it's not really necessary, but it will help you quite a lot. First of all, you gotta decide which area to farm because it's really, really important. Why? Because uh, as you go higher in the episodes, you will get more and more rewards. So if you are really in the late game, you will get way more rewards. Other than that, very important moment is hit list that you are farming. So you need to farm the boss and general enemy that will give you the proper rewards and you should aim for something that give you striking power by percentage if you are, well, past the mid game, past the early game. If you are before that, you can farm some enemies that give you striking power. The flat bonuses, they are important as well because as you add it up, that will help you quite drastically with your progress. And there are some really early games, game enemies, uh, those bears, boars and monkeys that give you striking power by percentage as well. So those guys should be your priority. And you can select them by selecting the episode here and clicking on those characters and that will show you which bonuses do they have. So you can decide quite easily. If you are farming the late game enemies like chapter high whatever, where they are not being one shot, you need your strongest build over here in order to take them out but my advice would be going a bit back because the faster you kill the enemies the more you will farm so you definitely don't want to farm your highest stage like we are pushing right now and it will be slow and ineffective let's take one step back and go to the previous chapter enter it and see how enemies are dying we want them to be one shot at there we go that's pretty good the enemies are dying way faster here and that means that we will be getting resources way faster. So your goal will be balancing it uh, between the income you can get from the level rewards. So you gotta go as high as possible and farming the thing that you haven't farmed before in the hit list to get the progression in the stats. You therefore should avoid the skills that are slow. So, uh, for your build for farming, you should exclude some skills. If you're using the sky build as I'm using here, you definitely should exclude... I think this one, Splash of Light, it's slow. Whirling Blade, definitely should go, that's a bad skill, it takes forever to do it. You see how long it takes for our character to charge this? Way too long, so we definitely don't want all those skills, so... I would advise, if you are farming really easy stages, to leave just some of the skills out here. So yeah, as you can see, we removed skills and healing became way faster because of that, because we don't charge those skills. What do we have here? We have the lightning strike. This is a very good spell. It's almost instant. It does quite a crazy AOE damage, to be honest. And we left Splash of Light because it's powerful, but uh, you should experiment with the spells yourself to decide which ones are the best. Therefore, not the ones over here, because all those... Hail of Blades, Electrostatic Discharge, it's taking forever to charge. Whirling Blade is long casting time, single area, which isn't good for us as well. So, yeah, go for something that's really fast and efficient. Now, as for mythical creature, you would like to have Tortoise here for sure, because uh, your main enemy will be the normal enemy, so you want to one-shot them. With the Tortoise, you can push way further. And probably you would like to do reset for Dark Spirit Enchantment and get the right things here. So, so you would like to max out your striking power by percentage for sure. Uh, get some like food of Fatal, maybe some points into the Fatal Blow. It's up to you, it will depend on how high you should farm. But if you will get the... Silver coin gain, XP gain, item acquisition, those will help you so much to get more stuff, but they are pretty expensive as well, so this is more for the end game. But yeah, you would like to balance your build around those stats, so damage for sure, if you can't one-shot the enemies, 
go for the critical strike damage. For us, it's not the case, so we're okay, right? Then we will decide uh, what we need the most right now. Either XP or Silver Coin. Getting levels is hard, to be honest, so... Yeah, focus on those things. As for the relic, usually you would like to focus on only one relic and use the relic of the sky. It's a better idea to use the relic of the land if you can go for several relics, but it's a really doesn't worth it in my opinion. So you would like to stick to one relic for the entire game, that will be better. And yeah, when you made your new build, don't forget to save it and... Uh, I advise you guys to use different costumes for different builds that will allow you to see which build you're using right now. Like red costume, okay, we are in the farming build. Uh, before playing dungeons and playing actively, switch to the sky build, for example. And there we go, just like that, you just leave your character running in the background on your PC using LD player and enjoy those rewards that you will get moreover if we have exchange events running like we have right now you need to farm a lot of those fans for this event and uh, you need to be online and kill enemies faster so that would be another thing that you can do to do more stuff to earn more stuff because 188 fans is like nothing it will also progress your kill pass so the more kills you have the more of those things you will get and Overall, it's, it's just a good thing to do, it's the right thing to do, so do it and your progress will be way faster and I did it for one night and after that I pushed like so many stages. And yeah guys, other than that, don't forget to do all the challenges, push them at least once every couple of days so you can get most rewards from your passive like wipe out runs so that's important as well so yeah guys this farming guide will help you to earn way way more stuff while you're offline well, not offline but idle and i hope it will help you out let me know in the comments if you get extra tips for the farming in uh, legendary master idle while you're going to the comments don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and check out the video description for additional links we have the ld player there other guides in the playlist my other tips channel social media discord by the way on the pc channel we are playing Diablo 4 right now you might like that and yeah guys other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand kosh out have a good one bye